Let's look at worked example 7.1. Polystyrene is a polymer made from joining the monomer unit of styrene, which is pictured below. It is commonly used in the form of um, what is branded styrofoam to make coffee cups and other to-go containers. So we're asked here in this example to draw a segment of polystyrene made from three styrene monomers, and then we're asked to use square brackets to highlight the repeat unit in polystyrene. You will not be expected to actually draw um, any part of a polymer, but you will be expected to identify the repeat unit of a polymer formed from addition polymerization. And remember, addition polymerization forms from the reaction of an alkene, a molecule with a double bond, to form long molecules that only have carbon-carbon single bonds in the backbone. Now, because no atoms are added or removed, all we have to do is clearly look at the monomer, count how many atoms there are, look at that conductivity, and then the same will be true in the polymer. So styrene has this double bond right here that will form a single bond when it uh, becomes a polymer, but there are two carbons. One carbon is bonded to two hydrogen, one carbon is bonded to a hydrogen, and also a benzene ring. I just want to point out that in this graphic, this hexagon has three double lines. They look like double bonds, they are not. Benzene does not have three double bonds. There's a special type of bonding going on here known as resonance. So when we go to the next slide, we see a picture of the three repeat units drawn, and then we have brackets drawn around one of the repeat units, which in a quiz you would be expected to identify. So how would we identify that? Well, the monomer had two carbons, so we choose two carbons. And then one of the carbons in the monomer was bonded to two hydrogens, and one of the carbons was bonded to a hydrogen and a benzene ring. So that is going to be the repeat unit. It's based on the monomer, and the only difference is it doesn't have a double bond. The, in the polymer, doesn't have a double bond, whereas the monomer does.